Hi everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to get your hands on Beta 5 before it's released. Now, disclaimers all around. This is dangerous stuff, okay? Because they're still working on it. So before you do anything else, make sure you have Beta 4 on a USB stick or on a CD so that you can reboot in case of emergency. I haven't done this on the virtual machines that uh, I use so far, but today we're going to do this. So it's very easy. There's this app called Repositories and you will find that here in the preferences. Now, yours may look slightly different because maybe you're on different servers, doesn't matter. You see here, Beta 4. You want to change that to Beta 5. So, let's do that. So you type that in exactly the same way. Oops, that's what I get for, that's better. Let's try again. Okay, so you see, uh, I want to be yeah. Right, so obviously if you're on 32-bit, that last bit will be different. Okay, let's double check it. That's right, Haiku R1 Beta 5 x 664 current. Let's add it. And there was an Aaron. What did I do wrong? H package OS. Ah! That should have been a dot, not a. So, you have to remove it. You can't edit it, unfortunately. Or not in any way that I'm aware of. H package dot dot Maybe I got it right now. Okay, let's ch check this again. HTTPS, yeah, EU H package dot haiku OS dot org haiku R1 beta 5 x86. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, 
and we wait while it keep trying enabled all right and now you do the same for haiku ports right so you can't just do one of the two you need to do haiku and haiku ports I'm going to save you some time and not actually do it but you see same th thing you retype this in R1 beta 4 change that to R1 beta 5 okay so let's just do that off and we're back so you can see I now have Haiku and Haiku ports beta 5 on my system they're enabled so what do we do with the old one well we can just delete it really first disable it and then delete it okay close this down now you can open up a oops where are we terminal And package man. We're not going to say upgrade. Full sync. Alternatively, you can just go to software updater and let it do its thing. Because I've recently found this out myself. From a discussion on the forums, software or software updater always does a full sync. Let's just do it in the terminal though, and it will go. As it's L three, okay. We solution one and. You are going to validate it. Check some for haiku. Ah, eh, it didn't. Okay, let's control C out of this. I will quit out of this. Let's try that again. Because it didn't get the haiku ports. Let's just get this thing to update properly first mm, let's see Okay, we have a problem. What is the problem? Let's have a look at those repositories. Ah, this one is not enabled. So let's enable it. It's probably going to tell me that it's taking a long time. There it just did. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, 
And it will now tell me I need to download a ridiculous number of packages. Which we're not going to do on screen. Because we'll, I'll be sitting here staring at you for the next half hour. Then after that, it's your reboot away from uh, version 5. R R1, release 1, beta 5. Now I've done this already on my uh, main computer, so I am now going to start doing this on these virtual machines that I use for making videos. And I can tell you, it's it's good. It's sometimes. Uh, the servers are a bit clogged up and it can't quite uh, get to everything you need. The other thing is that a lot of uh, web related programs, browsers and such, need to be recompiled uh, because there's a new version of SSL that's uh, become available. And that is something that uh, they're busy with right now. I think that's pretty much the last thing that needs to be done. You know, but as I said, make sure you have a backup of the, your old system. And uh, but if you're adventurous, if you want to, you know, be the first on the block to have the new Haiku Beta, then uh, this is how you do it. Okay, I am going to start downloading. And I will see you in the next episode.